Now let's go to Discovery Park where you can see people playing in the water, trying to stay cool on this day. And tonight, weather officials are warning of hotter days, hotter summers, and more opportunities to break heat records. CBS 13's Madison Keevy has more on how climate change is impacting summers. Hotter days, I mean really hot days like this one where it only makes sense to get under the water and in the water are happening more often. There's scientific proof that experts say make this not just a new normal but a worsening one. It's cooler in the water and in the shade, if not by the pool, under trees or by an AC. We've been going through a lot of AC units. At Capital Ace Hardware, excessive heat was expected, and the shelves are stocked earlier this year with AC units and fans. We've been selling air conditionings and fans and the window screens, a lot of stuff. <laughs> earlier is better for walks, too, at least when record heat is in the forecast. Yesterday was the first day that I decided I had to be out by 10 because we walk a lot. We don't have a car anymore. This midtown couple made adjustments due to heat for Maya, the family's furry friend. She, she's not going to have any of those kinds of problems. She's not getting sunburned. She's not getting overly tired or dehydrated. What do experts say about the noticeable change in summer days? These record breakers are expected to increase. Historically, Sacramento has experienced between two and six or so uh, extreme heat days uh, in any given year. As we see temperatures continue to rise into the future, by mid-century, we're anticipating to see approximately eight times more extreme heat days per year. What's different now than, let's say, 30 years ago? This is attributable to human activity and through fossil fuel burning, um, and that we are contributing to making these temperatures worse. Just like preps for snow, the same has to be done for extreme heat, according to this UC Davis professor. He says adding more trees can make more shady areas, and renewable sources for things like those ACs help too. It's going to take more than just car, electric cars. It's going to take agriculture, uh, solar power, everywhere for businesses and corporations to get involved.